Actor Charlie Sheen is speaking out now after a reported party weekend that landed him, as you may know, in rehab. That was in January. But it's what he said on the radio that's causing even more concern. McCollum Medina has been following the developments. He's in our newsroom now, Mac. Hi, Chuck. Uh, Charlie Sheen, by the way, is home right now doing what he calls self-rehab, calling into a sports radio talk show saying he was ready to go back to work, ready to go back to work, but work would not have him, at least not yet, and especially after the other things he said. You know, I've been some problems lately. And this this and that, is the first time we've heard from Charlie Sheen since he was rushed to a hospital after a reported weekend of you know, drugs, porn stars, and partying. Remember that? Now talking to a radio talk show host about his advice for the UCLA baseball team. I said, um, stay away from the crack, which I think is pretty good advice. Unless you can manage it socially, Dan. If you can manage it socially, then... Go for it. It's almost like he's still high. Dr. Howard Samuels like from the Hills Treatment Center was floored to hear what Sheen had to say. I mean, I've never heard anything so outrageous. That kind of, that kind of blew up in my face. Are like you, an exploding crack pipe, Dan. You know, Charlie Sheen is a hardcore addict. And Samuel believes his enablers is Hollywood. Hollywood is supporting a hardcore addict being on national TV every week. Well, this time around, Two and a Half Men's producer Chuck Laurie is responding, sort of, adding to Monday's show notes this. Laurie wrote, I don't do drugs. I don't have crazy, reckless sex with strangers. If Charlie Sheen outlives me... I'm going to be really, well, you can see what he wrote there. Samuel says they need to do more. Well, if they cut off the funds, because money always talks, money motivates people to change their life. Well, show producers have now reduced the number of episodes left to shoot this year from eight to four, but it appears to be hurting more of the show's crew than Charlie Sheen, who's offered to pay for a third of the crew's salary during his rehab, which now he may think is over, since he says on the radio, I'm here and I'm ready. They're not bringing it. You know? But Samuel says it's clear that Sheen is nowhere near ready. It's not about if it goes bad. It's about when it goes bad. You know, I'm really going to be surprised if Charlie Sheen is alive in two years. Doc says if nothing changes, it will go down that road. By the way, TMZ is reporting that Charlie Sheen is actually not offended by what his producer had to say. They're quoting Sheen saying, I actually saw it as a nice gesture. It's a little confusing here. So what happens next? Well, we're told the show is expected to go back into production at the end of the month. In the newsroom, I'm McConnell Medina, NBCLA. You're right, Mac. A lot of it is confusing. Yep.